In experiments testing instructional design, how good one method of instruction is over another, we need to test how much learning actually takes place. There are two main ways of testing this. The first is a test of recall. Let's imagine we were teaching food chains. We would test a student's prior knowledge, give them the instructional treatment, then test them on their memory of the relationships in the food chain, comparing those results with the first test. There is immediate recall, meaning we test them straight after the treatment, and delayed recall, meaning we test them later, either a few days or a few weeks after the treatment. This tests how well we can program a person to repeat facts, lists, and processes. This is actually a pretty good test for process learning like tying knots, but not a particularly good test of conceptual learning. A more rigorous test of learning is called transfer. Transfer asks students to apply their learning to a similar but different scenario to the treatment. For instance, the food chain example could teach using one example of a food chain, then the transfer test would ask them to analyse a completely different food chain. If a student can complete the task, we know they have achieved conceptual change, meaning they get the underlying idea of food chains rather than just remembering facts. We still use immediate and delayed transfer, but now we test understanding, not memory. When you're reading academic journals or even pop psychology online, look to see if the experiment tests recall or the more rigorous transfer.